It's important to use good lifting technique. Remember to activate the core, the glutes, drop the butt hinge before lifting. Up, waddle, 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 and down. Temping is integral. There's a, a lot of interlock projects fail because of a lack of compaction. So running the plate tamper, plate compactor over the gravel properly is, is essential. I recommend for a small thing like this, we usually go over it three times with a compactor. If you're on a more important project, you can get testers that ensure that you're compact. You can run your, your tamper over a million times if you want, but there comes a point where the, the point of diminishing returns. This project here, against the asphalt, there was almost no sinking, so we barely added any material and didn't really t put a lot of effort into tamping there because there wasn't really anything to, to compact. There's already been settled for 30, 40 years. Along the edges, along the side there, where we added a lot of material, where we had seen a lot of, of sinking, we I kind of ran over it and ran over it and ran over it because it kept going down, it kept settling. It was probably settling the soil underneath, not just the gravel. Uh, so it's actually good when you're starting from scratch to you compact the subgrade, the soil underneath. Uh, you can add some, some supplementary materials to that soil underneath before you start compacting. Uh, in this case, small project, adding gravel, watching it sink in one small area. We we did a, a thorough enough job there by just by just giving that one area special treatment. As you can tell in this video, I keep going back there, keep running it over, overlapping. Um, yeah, there's different, you should be uh, running the compactor back and forth uh, in several different ways. You could do it in a circle and then run you know, reversing directions going you know, there and back, there and back, there and back, side to side, and then going there and back, there and back, there and back, top to bottom. Uh, in this small, small area, it's hard to do that but, but in, a, in a larger area, a rectangle or circle or square, you can, you, can, you can rotate directions for your compactor and run it different ways, which ensures that you're getting the gravel from all angles, that you're getting it uh, into a good compact and even layer. This kind of tamper is, is a little bit big for this area. We have a smaller one we like to use for these smaller areas, a little easier to manage. There's also some small reversible plate compactors that are good to use where this one pulls itself forward and then when you want to pull it back, you have to kind of lift and drag and you might make divots in the in the grade that you made. So the different compactors might be better for different scenarios. Uh, this one worked for what we had to do. It's again, a small area, didn't need too much compaction, um, but wanted to make sure everything had settled in the way we wanted it to. So just compacted it. It's a big compactor for a small area, not the greatest. So mid compaction, I paused, try to regrade a little bit and redo it. There's going to be some divots. We're going to fill in with the stone dust. Not perfect. We're going to enter into the one part of the job that we do not do fully to code because for some reason, Ottawa landscapes are built off crushed stone gravel and limestone screenings or screenings, whatever you want to call them. You're supposed to use bedding sand, but most places in Ottawa don't even carry it. So we use stone dust. It looks like this. It's very nice to grade with. Um, so we use, you should be using bedding sand if you can. If you can't, this stuff's fine. It's not great, but uh, it's what we use because everything around us is built like this. With all our repairs, we just kind of do the same thing throughout because we don't want to make one thing sand, one thing stone dust, one thing this, one thing that. We just, we just use stone dust because that's what everyone, everyone is using. Keeps it uniform. It's not great, but that's how we roll. 
We're like up, at the, up to eight inches there. That dove down a lot. But I think that size is lower in general. Because this, it's just over seven. That's what we wanted. Yeah, just over seven there. And then just over seven there. So we're pretty good throughout. Went down a bit, but we're pretty good throughout. So here I have my stone dust. We are trying to get a good stone dust grade over the whole thing to ensure uniform smoothness, uniform slope, everything will be sitting nicely. We are going to compact this grade. Um, so it doesn't, it's not the, the last one, but we want it to be just as perfect as it was the last one. I'm checking my level. I'm, I'm doing a lot of just smoothing because because my gravel grade was very good, which you want to ensure your gravel grade is very good. I don't have to worry so much about my heights and my slopes as I just follow the contours that I already set out. So now I'm able to just follow those contours I've set out, put a nice layer of stone dust down. Uh, I, I check, I'm checking my, my, my bubble, my slope to ensure everything's good. Um, but I'm more so asking my assistant to fill in the voids. I, I'm using the level to spot the voids. You can see at the end there's a, there's a, a problem there where it's humping a little bit. And so I am able to use the stone dust to fill in the voids, to sm I'm smoothing out the humps, filling in the low spots. Give me a little bit more here. I'm actually over raise this because I know it's gonna drop so much when we compact. I'm gonna slope it up a bit. Put a lot more gravel on this side. Okay, we have a lot more stone dust another. We've now completed the first stone dust grade. Hopefully the last one was great. But I made some notes about how things compact a lot over sometimes too much. And these two corners, they drop when we compact it. So they're probably gonna drop again. So I'm gonna need to do some some grading initially in the corners. The rest of it's looking great. Um, we'll do a final grade, then we can lay. So I'll, I'll compact this, I'll water it first. First we water, then we compact, then we grade again. And I'm putting more water in here, and in here. I'm making sure these bricks are squeaky clean, so that when we put them back in, there's nothing compromising them. Dirty, it's dusty, sometimes unpleasant, but you know, just keep at it. You know, when I woke up this morning, put on my Lululemon Slim Fit Commission pants, did not realize how dirty I'd be getting. We are looking at a problem. This is a problem. This is dirt. Dirt? has no structural properties to it whatsoever. Dirt retains moisture. Dirt is unsightly. Dirt corrupts my beautiful, beautiful grade that I've been working all morning on. I hate dirt. I hate it. I will not have it. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm hand tamping. Because the uh, plate tamper didn't get everywhere, so the hand tamper to get everywhere. Just trimming this fabric out. We're very close to our seven mark, just a bit high here. It's fine. We want it to be between six and seven, closer to seven. Then we add a little bit of stone dust. We'll be more close, probably near six and a half. Some of these areas are a little lower as we're sloping it down and away. Like I said, this area dropped a bunch. A lot of nice, a little bit of a thicker layer in to grade on. But uh, so far, so good. We are almost on the final grade. I'm just, everything's sloping the right way now. Everything's smooth and getting smooth. Just a couple divots, last things I'm filling in here. You see there's a little gap under the level there, so I just fill that in there. 
draw it across, draw it down, smooth this out a bit, make sure we are just good all the way across. Um, one thing to note is that I'll probably add a little bit at the end here once we're laying, finishing our, our laying of blocks because this is just a really hard thing to do. So I'll probably just do this by hand, make sure each block is fitting nicely. For the rest of it, pretty good now. We got a slope going away from the step, draining down to the walkway. We have a slight crown in the middle, so it's sloping slightly that way. Almost flat on that side, but we think it's gonna drop a bit because it's dropped so much over the course of this project as we've been lifting it up. So we're gonna compact it one last time when the bricks are on it, that's right, pavers. We're gonna compact it one last time when the pavers are on it. That should result in a perfect crown right across there. And I, I'll often keep grading as I go just to make sure everything is perfectly smooth, level, even across. No divots, no problems, no drips, no drops. So yeah, we're just about getting ready to lay. Exciting. 